How to operate your VC4 convection oven. In this video, we will cover how to operate your Vulcan VC4 convection oven for initial use. We will demonstrate how to operate and care for the unit. All demonstrations in this video have been performed by trained professionals. In partnership with Hobart Service and authorized warranty service providers, Vulcan offers a new equipment checkout free of charge. The new equipment checkout ensures equipment has been properly installed and is operating correctly. To schedule, contact your sales representative. Before first use. Before we begin, make sure the side of the unit where the oven controls are located is two inches from other cooking or heat producing devices. This is to ensure the oven's mechanical components remain cool and away from the heat. Burn off. Prior to the first use, the convection oven must undergo a burn-off procedure to remove any contaminants from heating the chamber. Follow these quick steps to complete the process. Wipe down the inside of the oven. Use a clean, damp cloth to wipe the inside of the oven and oven racks. Close the oven doors. Turn on the oven. Switch the master switch to on. Conduct burn-off procedure. Turn the thermostat to 300 degrees Fahrenheit and allow the oven to cycle for 90 minutes or until no smoke or odor is detected. After that period, turn the master switch to off. Gas valve. The gas valve on Vulcan convection ovens is a combination valve that is both a pressure regulator and gas valve. An additional external regulator connected directly to the oven is not needed. The oven's internal gas valve also serves as a pressure regulator provided the supply pressure to the appliance is at the normal 7 to 8 inches for natural gas and 11 to 12 inches for LP gases. This is factory preset and requires no adjustment. New installations may require a few ignition cycles to purge residual air from the gas line. If the oven goes into a reset condition, the red no ignition light will illuminate. Wait a few seconds and try to restart the oven. If after a few attempts the condition persists, contact your local authorized service agent. VC4 Controls If your Vulcan VC4 convection oven has computer controls, please view your computer control programming guide that is shipped with the oven, or view the operation manual for more information. Master Switch The master switch turns the oven control circuits on and off. When switched to cool, the fan motor will run with the door ajar to speed up oven cooling. On light. The on light is the amber colored light that will glow when the master switch is switched on. Heat light. The oven heating light is the white colored light that glows when the burner cycles on. When the white light is on, set temperature has not been achieved. The oven heating light will turn off when set temperature is achieved. Ignition light. If the burner fails to ignite, the red light will remain on. Wait 20 to 30 seconds, turn the unit off, and then turn the oven back on to ignite the burners. If the burners fail to light after a few tries, contact an authorized service provider for assistance. Note, always check your gas and electrical supply connections to make sure they are in the on or operating position. Thermostat. The thermostat controls oven temperature during cooking operation. Timer. The timer is used to set the cook time. When the timer reaches zero, an audible buzzer will come on and run continuously until the timer is turned off. To turn off the buzzer, rotate the knob to the off position. Keep the timer in the off position when not in use, and always remember the oven will not turn off when the timer is finished. Fan speed switch. The fan speed switch allows you to choose high or low fan speed setting. The high setting is the normal operating speed. The low setting is used when cooking delicate baked goods which could blow around in the oven. Light switch. Turns the lights inside the oven cavity on and off. Lights are for inspecting products during a cooking cycle. To extend bulb life, turn lights off when not inspecting product. Cleaning. Warning. Disconnect electrical power to the machine and follow lockout tagout procedures before cleaning. Now we will review best practice cleaning procedures. 
make sure you always allow the oven to cool before cleaning. At the end of every day, turn the oven thermostat to off. Switch the master switch to cool. Leave the oven doors open while the fan is on to cool the oven. When the oven has cooled sufficiently, switch the master switch to off to begin cleaning and follow lockout tagout procedures. Daily cleaning should be done at the end of every day. Do not spray the oven interior or exterior with a hose. For daily cleaning, clean the interior of the oven with water and soap or detergent. Rinse thoroughly and wipe dry with a soft, clean cloth. Do not use highly chlorinated or alkaline detergents to clean the interior of the oven, as these types of solutions can lead to early degradation of the components. One of the easiest ways to keep your oven clean is to always use a drip pan, an optional oven accessory. Make sure to clean the oven's interior back panel. Periodically check for debris around the interior air rotor and remove any small bits of aluminum foil from the fan area. Exterior surfaces may be cleaned using a damp cloth with mild detergent and water solution. When scraping off heavy deposits of grease or oil from the oven, never use steel scrapers. Where it is necessary to scrape, use wood, plastic, or rubber tools or anything non-metallic. Periodic maintenance. Here are some important cleaning and maintenance instructions to conduct periodically as needed to get the most out of your unit. The rear air intake slots prevent the oven from overheating and running at peak performance. Failing to keep rear intake clear may lead to oven overheating and component failure. When the oven is cool, clean the air intake slots with a damp cloth. The flue releases heat from the oven and can get very hot. When the oven is cooled down, periodically make sure the vent is always free of obstructions. To replace the internal halogen lights, turn the light switch to off and remove all oven racks and oven rack guides. Remove the lamp cover with a flathead screwdriver. Slide out the bulb with your thumb and forefinger and replace with a new bulb. Periodically check for debris around the interior air rotor and remove any small bits of aluminum foil from the fan area. Extended shutdown. When putting the oven into an extended shutdown period, switch the master switch to cool. Leave the oven doors open while the fan is on to cool the oven. After the oven is cooled sufficiently, close the oven doors, switch the master switch to off, and turn off the gas supply to the oven. Warning. For electric convection ovens, disconnect electrical power to the machine and follow lockout tagout procedures before extended shutdown. When starting your oven back up after an extended shutdown, check for any damage to the unit before restarting the oven. Always make sure to check all gas and electrical connections before starting up your convection oven. Now you are ready to use your Vulcan convection oven. For more information on operating and maintaining your equipment, refer to the operation manual on the Vulcan website.